Welcome to another video guide about GDMS networking. In this video, we will explain the GDMS networking structure containing organization and networks. We will also demonstrate how to claim devices to your GDMS account and assign them to a specific network within your GDMS networking. An organization represents the GDMS networking account, and it can contain multiple networks. Each network acts as a logical container for grand stream networking devices. This structure allows for centralized management and provisioning of devices across multiple locations and networks. This structure simplifies network administration, allowing for consistent configurations, management, and troubleshooting. Please keep in mind that networks don't have to be physical locations, but they are used to organize devices in whatever categories are appropriate. A network could be a specific department within a company, a site, or a subnet within a large enterprise network. For example, system integrators and installers can separate their customers' devices within the GDMS by utilizing a system of networks. To add a network within GDMS networking, expand the Network Overview tab and click Create Network. All the previously created networks will be displayed and you can use the same tab to access your networks. Give a name to your network and define the country, region, time zone, and network administrators that are allowed to manage this network. We will cover users and privileges in a future video. When you have an existing network, you can choose to clone the new one with the already existing network. This is useful for quickly deploying similar configurations to newly added networks. This simplifies management and ensures network configurations are consistent across different locations or environments. You can enable this option for the network that will become the default when you log in to your GDMS account. Please keep in mind that the default network cannot be deleted and it cannot be shared with other users or an associated company. Tags are configured for filtering purposes. They allow GDMS administrators to filter networks by category, especially in large deployments. For instance, if you need to filter and display devices with a specific tag, you can use the drop-down menu next to the unassigned device indicator. Selecting a tag will only show the networks associated with the selected tag. Each network can be labeled with one or more network tags, which are shown in the Tags column. The tag list can be customized by clicking Network Tag under Network List. In this section of the video, we will explain the different methods used to claim devices and add them to a specific network. Before adding devices to GDMS, it is important to verify the supported models and the required firmware version. You can confirm that by going to About page and selecting GDMS Networking tab. Make sure the device you are trying to add has a firmware version number higher than the required minimum. GDMS Networking offers various methods to add devices to your account, catering to individual device additions, bulk deployments, and automatic device assignment from your distributor's account. Within the Devices menu, clicking Add will bring up this page. Adding devices manually is ideal when adding a single or a small number of devices. You input the name, MAC address, and the initial password of the Grandstream networking device. The MAC address and password can be found printed on the label attached to the device. You also need to assign it to a predefined device group. Device group is useful for applying different configurations to different sets of devices based on shared functions or characteristics. Device groups are created and configured under group management. We will cover this topic in depth in the next video. For bulk device edition, you can use the import tab. To use this option, you need to download the reference template available here. This file contains the necessary fields for your device data, such as MAC address, password, and device name. Populate the file with device information, and then click here to upload the file. Bulk device addition using a CSV file is more efficient than manual addition, especially when dealing with a large number of devices. The third option is to add devices from your inventory. First, the devices must be claimed and already added to your inventory before you are able to assign them to a specific network within your GDMS account. Inventory option will display only devices that have not been assigned to a network yet. 
Simply check the device you would like to assign to the current network and click Add. To make a device available in the inventory so you can assign it to a specific network, you first need to claim it to your organization account. Go to Organization menu and click Inventory. Similar to adding devices to a network, you can claim devices by manually entering the device MAC address and initial password or uploading a CSV file for bulk device claiming. GDMS also offers the option to have devices automatically added to your inventory upon purchase. Essentially, your distributor will assign the purchased devices to your account's inventory. This process requires sharing your account's binding address with your distributor so they can add you as an associated company under their account. Your binding address can be found under Users Associated Company. Click View My Associated Company Binding Address. Please check with your distributor if they offer this service. In addition to the web-based portal of GDMS networking, Grandstream offers the GWN app, which fully integrates with GDMS networking. The GWN app is available for both Android and iOS devices. GWN app includes a built-in scanner that allows you to add devices to a network in GDMS by simply scanning the barcode label of the device. Once the application is downloaded and signed in, click into the network you'd like to add devices to, choose the Devices menu item, then click the plus sign. This will bring up your camera, which can be used to scan the barcode from the device sticker. If you already have GWN access points deployed and managed by the local controller, and you decide to migrate them to GDMS, there are two ways to achieve that. The first method requires resetting the access points to default settings before adding them to GDMS. It is important to know that you can only use one portal to manage the GWN access points. Managing GWN access points from both GDMS networking and the local controller is not supported. You can only choose one. The other method is to use the transfer feature available from the local controller managing the GWN access point. Let's use this configuration example to demonstrate how to transfer GWN access points from a local controller to GDMS networking. Log into the web interface of the access point operating as the controller and go to access points. Click transfer AP option and a new pop-up window will display the list of transferable devices as shown here. Clicking Transfer will redirect you to the web portal of GDMS Networking. Once logged in to GDMS Networking, you will be prompted to select the network in GDMS that you would like to assign them to. Select the desired network from the drop-down list and click Save. Once successfully added to GDMS Networking, the Controller AP web interface will display the following notice. When a device is added to GDMS networking, it should show online if it's correctly configured and connected to the network. A green dot indicates that the device is online and functioning correctly within GDMS. A gray dot suggests the device is offline or unable to connect to GDMS. If a device appears offline, it's often due to firewall rules or incorrect network settings, such as a DNS not resolving the GDMS domain name. If a device is managed by a local controller or the on-premise software GWN Manager, the device will show offline when you add it to GDMS networking. The device must be removed from the controller or GWN Manager before you add it to GDMS networking. The dashboard page displays the online-offline status of devices within a specific network, including access points, switches, and routers. The dashboard provides a visual representation of network health and performance and offers in-depth analysis of connected clients. While the dashboard page displays details of a specific network within an organization, the overview page provides a high-level overview of all networks and their associated devices under the GDMS organization. If you are having trouble adding devices to GDMS, you can contact Grandstream support for further assistance. This concludes today's video guide about adding networks and claiming devices to GDMS networking. In the next video guide, we will talk about group management and how to create device groups for configuration applications across multiple devices.